So today I am lucky enough to uh, get the chance to go get the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, um, so I'm here now. Uh, I'm getting my vaccine done at a school in Queens. Obviously, I'm not gonna bring this camera in because I'm sure that would not be allowed, but I'll try and, you know, respecting other people's privacy, get whatever I can on uh, my phone, maybe just a photo, so we shall see. And then when I get back, I will talk to you about, I don't know, how it was, why I'm able to get the vaccine, all that kind of stuff. It's an odd feeling getting this done. Like it's basically a year almost to the day, I think, like March something, that this all really, really derailed everything. Like I think I flew home the third week of March uh, from Germany. So it's weird a year later to be doing this. Anyway, wish me luck and I will see you guys shortly. Feeling oddly emotional. <laughs> and I'm home. Um, so I'm actually going to go to the gym. Uh, I'm a little sore in the shoulder, a little bit, but not terribly. <clears throat> uh, I would, I would, I would say it's equivalent to like, I don't know, if you got like a Charlie horse in the in the shoulder, you know, it's like it's like a sore in that one spot. It's like a workout pain, but in like one area. It's not that bad. So I'm gonna go try and work out and see how it is, and then I have some thoughts and. Uh, and um, I don't know, reflections on both getting the vaccine and kind of where we're all at now. It's weird, like this whole day since getting the vaccine or I guess just before getting the vaccine, it's, uh, it's kind of forced me to like reflect on what has all happened in literally a year of all this stuff. Anyway, gym time. <laughs> So it is the next morning. Um, I got back from the gym last night and I was very, very, very tired. So I figured I'd just go to sleep. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so what I was getting at yesterday though is that getting the vaccine uh, was an odd moment of kind of forced reflection uh, that I haven't really had sent for like this whole year. Also, as I said earlier, uh, it's it was basically March something when um, everything shut down in Germany when I was there doing Don Giovanni. I think it was like March 10th was the last performance and then I came home on like the 20th or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> and they shut everything down the day after that, that last performance that we did. So the 11th, I suppose. And um, I haven't really been forced to like think of the last year until yesterday uh, because it was an odd little marker. It was like almost a full year later and 
this thing kind of took a year out of everybody's life. I mean, I turned 30 during the pandemic, uh, which is nuts, because <laughs> uh, that was last July. I don't really know kind of what I, how I feel. Actually, uh, I do want to give a shout out to the people who were working at the, uh, the location, the vaccination location I went to. Uh, I went to a place in Queens and it was like a Swiss watch in there. Like it was, I mean, I didn't, I, uh, I didn't, I don't think I waited for more than four minutes before like I went through the process and everybody was incredibly nice. There was an amazing like positive atmosphere. Everybody was, it, it just felt very safe and very, very happy. It was just nice to be in like a group setting because you know, we haven't had, I haven't been in like a, you know, a group setting with strangers for a year. Um, especially one where everybody was so talkative and nice and happy and you know, it was a very nice energy. And all the workers there were so nice. The, the footage I got of me getting the vaccine, um, when I asked the healthcare worker if I could do that, she laughed and was like, she was like, if you weren't gonna suggest it, I was gonna suggest it. So like, she was super nice and super, yeah, accommodating. It was, uh, it was a great experience. I was lucky enough to get the vaccine for a number of reasons. One, we're all lucky that the vaccine rollout has been pretty great. There's been a recent announcement that by May, every, I think it's every adult, I think everyone 18 or older, 16 or older, I think is the Pfizer vaccine. Everyone in America will be able to have a vaccine by the end of May, which is fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Uh, just a scientific feat that I didn't really think I'd see in my lifetime. So it seems like it's ramping up where a lot more people can get the vaccine, especially now with uh, the new vaccines that have been approved, like the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and that kind of stuff. So, because um, it's funny, as of yesterday, I I've seen a few of my friends posting out that they were getting the vaccine as well, which is amazing. I was able to get the vaccine because I have asthma, and that's one of the kind of prerequisites at the moment, in New York at least. I don't know if it's like a federal thing, but um, in New York, asthma is one of those things that means you can get the vaccine. It's a great thing to experience, uh, especially after the year we've had. I, I have a little bit of pain in my shoulder, but that's about it. Everything else is fine. I worked out yesterday and it was fine. I'm gonna go work out today and I don't foresee any issues. I know other people do have uh, other reactions. Um, I've had family members that have like been fatigued for a day or so. Uh, I've had friends who have gotten like, you know, a sim like a symptom or two, like a, like a fever for a day. But when you think of what you're avoiding, a little fever or some fatigue is not that bad. And it just, it felt like there was this great energy of like, we're all doing this together in the building when I was there. Like everybody, it's like, we're getting, I'm getting vaccinated for myself, but like we're all doing this to also protect each other. It was great, honestly. I don't really know if I have, like there's no moral to this video or any kind of story other than I just wanted to, I was feeling feelings. I was feel, feeling things that I have, I don't know. I was, I was, I was in this kind of contemplative, you know, reflective, mindset that I haven't been in, in in like a year, honestly. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy year for everyone. It's been a crazy year for the arts industry. And I don't mean this in a micro sense, I mean it in very much in a macro sense. Um, not like just my life, but I, for the first time in a year, I feel very, very optimistic. Uh, I've had other things I felt optimistic about in this year. Like uh, I've, I've been able to kind of refocus on the O'Hanlon Select and things have really changed over there and are continuing to change and big moves with that. Big moves in my career actually, uh, thanks to my unbelievable agent, uh, Adam. And I've, con I've actually connected with colleagues that I haven't before really. I've actually started talking to a guy I went to school with uh, at Juilliard. And at Juilliard, we weren't really like friends. Um, we were just different people I think. And he and I have bonded recently kind of over like van life because I, I'm planning on buying a van and, and uh, doing a, a conversion myself. And he ha he is van lifing right now. And like, it's crazy. It's like, if the pandemic never hit, then maybe he wouldn't buy, he wouldn't have bought his van and then I never would, we never really would have started talking. And, and now, now I find myself being like, why didn't I become friends with this guy when I was at school? Anyway, that's like kind of, Besides the point, but it's it's meant, re I, I bring it up mainly to kind of point out that there have been many positives from this terrible negative that we've all gone through, in my opinion, at least for me. And I think for some other people that I know as well. I like what has come out of this. Obviously it's 
terrible that it took such a horrible, horrible thing to force everybody, or at least myself, uh, to ask questions about my life and that kind of stuff and, and really, you know, take stock. But it's been a crazy, awful, amazing, weird, uh, enlightening year. And I'm very optimistic about what's coming. I'm very optimistic about this next year. Like if you started the year now in March, just like our last year kind of ended in March. If you start now and look next year at March where you'll be, I think next by next March, I'll be even further into this kind of direction I'm moving now. I hope all of you are well who are watching this. This is not really a vlog. It's kind of a vlog, but not really a vlog. So I don't really know what I'm gonna call this. Maybe at the beginning of this video, it'll be called like the vaccine vlog or something. Also, uh, big shout out to the O'Hanlon Select. This video and kind of all the videos that are about to come out from me are made possible by the O'Hanlon Select. Uh, the O'Hanlon Select is a group of amazing human beings that uh, support the, the, the work I do and support all the content I create. The link will be in the bio of this video if you wanna come check it out. It's an amazing community. It's super tight knit. Uh, there's a lot of bonus content on, on the O'Hanlon Select page. Uh, bonus merchandise, bonus videos, bonus everything. We live chats, the whole thing. We did, we did an opera watch party a few weeks ago where we watched one of the operas I was just recently in together uh, via live stream and it was pretty great, it was pretty fun. So anyway, uh, go check that out. Big shout out to them, especially these people who are my O'Hanlon Select blog producers. Um, they, get, they literally help produce specifically these kind of vlog videos. So big shout out to them, but big shout out to all my O'Hanlon Selects. And uh, I hope you all stay safe. I hope we're, we're all able to get the vaccine soon. If you haven't been able to check your uh, local government websites. I didn't know I was allowed to get it until my aunt actually said, here's the link, go check. And it turns out I was allowed to. So I would encourage you to go check your local government website and uh, see, you might be able to get it. And it was really easy. I signed up the day before I went. So um, anyway, thank you all and I'll see you in the next one.